Hey guys! Hello! And we have our traditional yes, nurse toy makers contraband from hospital Not box contraband. <laughs> box opening utility. Can I go ahead and open it? Sure. This is the box that we got from Chris Savage and, uh, and Parallax. Parallax. So a huge thank you to Parallax. Yes. And to Chris. I know some of this is Chris's personal stuff and some of it is uh, courtesy of Parallax. Hmm. I gotta go this way. We uh, use Parallax stuff in our projects quite frequently. And one of our uh, 40 pin dip propeller chips was having a little problem with his PLL. And Chris was kind enough to send us a uh, replacement for it. A T what? Uh, T, P, 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 PLL. It's a PLL. Uh, phase lock loop? Uh, no idea. It was having issues. Yeah. An emotional day. So, um, Chris said he would, uh, send us over a replacement, but uh, I think Chris probably <laughs> sent a few oh, more man. things than was strictly necessary. Good lord. Um, <laughs> uh, we make a lot of videos with various little projects, uh, various little ideas, so this kind of stuff... Ooh, it's a servo controller, this one. ...is going to significantly increase our productivity. <laughs> Hey, that's My cool. goodness. Didn't you want a servo controller at some point? Yeah, these are handy. Hey, that's awesome. Thanks, Chris. So, and Parallax. <laughs> it's going to take a while to sort, sort through, through all of these, but... Oh, it's nicely wrapped up, too. All right. Now, um... What's did that? you, uh, get your... Your ESD bracelet for this? Oh, crap. I need my ESD bracelet. Well, where do I hook it to ground? So there's a basic stamp. And it's, uh, socketed. Okay, but where can I hook this to ground? whole bunch of opto stuff in here. You like opto stuff. Yes, I really do. I think we were actually just thinking Some about Some of these might be, uh, um, opto transistors even. I don't know. I don't think that works. Oh, that can go right into, uh, the, uh... Jack? There. Oh, handy. Alright, I am grounded. You are so grounded. So grounded. So there's a whole bunch of opto stuff in here. We're not going to have time to give details on everything, because there's so much stuff. But, uh... Oh, sweet, and there are, there are cool LEDs here, too. Yeah. They've got some square ones and everything. And it looks like transistors. Sweet! Transistors! Oh, Those may be uh, so well optically made. triggered so transistors, too. I'll have to look into it. But. Oh, my gosh. So, we've got a uh, Prop Proto USB board. These are kind of awesome. Uh-oh, this one's sealed. I don't know if I want to open that. Static. So, we've got, there's a propeller here in the center. Mm -hmm. And there's all this board real estate here. And these are really more for like when you've got a project that you actually want to build. Mm -hmm. You can get all the components situated on the board and in a more permanent fashion. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, really nice. I like proto boards. They're kind of like half breadboard, half circuit board. Mm -hmm. That's kind of convenient. It's sort of like the step between breadboard and building it with a custom PCB. There are a lot of toys in here, and they're pretty. 
and they're red and green and happy. There's a whole bunch of switches in there. Lots and lots and lots of different <laughs> switches. Oh my goodness. Sorry, Electric Gold Mine. Guess we've got our hard spins. <laughs> Replenish here. Rubber bands. Excellent. I like rubber bands. <gasps> so, these are the 40-pin uh, the uh, dip format propeller chips. So, these this was the point of the shipment. And this will get our uh, propeller our propeller professional development board uh -huh. uh, back up and running perfectly so I can run high frequency applications on it like SIDCOG. Beautiful, but look. That it's is, a robot. It's awesome. Does that have the uh super the parallax cool. servos in it? I yes know, it does. But it's got the cool sounding. Oh and it's even got batteries. Oh you included batteries. Thanks. That's great. Alright, what are we gonna do with this? Build a robot. We're gonna build a robot. We'll teach it to navigate to uh pick up Zombie Apocalypse team members. Yeah. You guys can ride. We'll put a little seat on here. <laughs> it, it'll know how to bring you home. <laughs> it'll hold your pinky. <laughs> you got a bunch of segment displays here. Excellent. I like those. Those You've are We've used fun. these a few times in Project Smaller ones, but these are big, beefy ones. These they probably are. were used in uh, Chris's uh, alarm clock projects, oh. I would assume. Oh, well, these are beefy. What do we got here? Oh my gosh, Chris. This is something from Grand, uh, Joe Grand, I think. Is it? It says Grand Idea Studio, and I think that's Joe Grand's stuff that he's been working on. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Please don't take this display. Well, we have it. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't take this display. Well, you I know, with that coil that's running around that thing, I'm pretty sure this is a sensor <laughs> of some sort. Let's see, RFID reader module. That's fancy. Oh, excellent. I like that. I can, I can leash. And there's a tag. Here. And there's a card. So Ooh. we'll be able to play with some RFID stuff. We'll be to ha we'll be able to hack into like systems and stuff. Ooh, another protoboard. Propeller Rapid Prototyping Module. Yeah. Excellent. So it's got a uh, a socketed uh, socket on it here. Mm -hmm. And right now it's just got one of those uh, LED modules on okay. it. Okay. It looks like it also has some sort of a beefier chip on here. An IC4. IC4? Might be a motor controller. Cool. Um, so that's another 40 pin prop, and this board is My stacked gosh. with everything that you need to run it, so that is excellent. Thanks! Looks like an older model. Oh my goodness, look at this. What are these? Parallax servos. Ah, more Small servos! Ones. Yay! That one's got a horn on it. You wanted servos. I did want servos, so this is going to allow us to do all sorts of animatronic, robotic sorts of things. I think the... Some of you guys have been watching our live stream, and there's been some talk about uh, allowing some computer control for where the camera is pointing. These might be handy for that. Lovely. And what is this? Well, that oh, looks like some sort of a radio it. module. Let's see, it's a GPS receiver. Yes! So, yes, you know what this means? Parallax GPS this receiver. This means in the event of zombie apocalypse, we can show where we are at all times. Awesome. Excellent. I was just talking about it with some of the hands, too. Woohoo! And then this is. Um, it's got big beefy terminals, so well, it's, it's probably pretty. motor controllers. I have to say, in terms of pretty electronics, this is a pretty nice one. It's green. I like green. See, uh, this is a circuit for controlling bigger voltages. I'll have to get into the details of exactly how it wants to be set up with other things. But Holy buckets! This is the good stuff. What do we got there? Basic stamp! Huzzah! 2SX. Wow, that's a 
What's this? This is like cereal pour this on is like it. pirate booty. You know, it's like an the E-prom. X marks the spot type of thing. And a few uh, transistors. So probably good for switching something. Awesome. Here, I'll take that. That's just getting through this box. Is... <laughs> we might have to put this in two parts. So here's an L. CD module. Yay! Oh, uh, oh. Wait, what does this say? And it has a uh, tech support. CSS. This is. I feel like I'm seeing into the inside of Parallax's bowels. You know, it's like. What do the engineers there write? I know they were doing spring cleaning yesterday. Oh yeah. Labor so all day. the Parallax guys are. We're running around with mops and brooms, working for a living. <laughs> Earning their keep. Well, that's cool. I like the um, the stacked thing. I don't often see that, but I don't really see many electronics. Daughter boards. Usually. Daughter boards? Yeah. What's a daughter board? It says it's a, uh, a MOBO 2P, 2PE. I'm not familiar. I don't know, but it's very nice. I'll have to sort that one out some more when okay. I get time to actually focus on it. Oh, good lord, we're going to be set for like the next... There are basically an infinite number of projects yeah. in this box. And I think this is one of the... I think this is similar to the one that you're opening. Maybe. Looks like... <clears throat> basic stamp, okay. So, we so another on one these. of the basic stamps that has the... Uh, Serial port on the side. Serial port. As well as this one. Same thing. Ta -da! So it's three of those. Awesome. What can you do with stamps? Um, they're uh, the earlier Parallax microcontroller. Uh -huh. They just have the single cog, if you will. Oh, okay. In a different programming language. So it's like a powerful Arduino. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, basic stamp logic analyzer. This uh, probably jacks in through. Gosh, they have so many cool things that they make there. Yeah, if you haven't already checked them out, you should check them out. Parallax. Parallax. Don't you uh, work That's on getting correct. that out of this thing? Basic stamp logic analyzer. Oh, you just take it out. <laughs> You're trying to so take the bag it's out. got a USB port on one side of it, and your uh, oh, that's cool. socketed there. Yeah. And there's a chip on there, which might be the USB to. This is probably for working with that stamp that we saw that was socketed. Mm -hmm. This guy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, I see. Same okay. size yeah, socket, I so see. he goes in there, and then you can talk to it. Right through the USB. And what can you do with this? You can test and see what it's doing, for one. Oh. So, you know, I'm sure they have software that goes with it as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of that. Okay. So here we've got a bag of little goodies, which I always love because stuff like infrared detectors and whatnot. Oh, is that what we got? All sorts of little things in there. Make it sweet. Oh, we're gonna have to get our parts bin or parts bin. Okay, we've got another one of these uh, miscellaneous parts bags here that has a lot of uh, like resistors and capacitors and segment displays and switches and breadboard wire and uh, probably a digital potentiometer in there. Uh, a few other things. I, I I just love little random bags like this. Random bags are the best. Oh my gosh, we are still like only two thirds of the way through. This is craziness. I think this is trying to outdo himself. <laughs> Alright, what is this? That looks like. Chris's. Ass oh, I touched it! <laughs> Eddie I touched, touched it. an oscilloscope. Dang oh, it. that's great. So, um, <laughs> this is 
specifically Chris's parallax. Ooh. Um, oscilloscope. Right, maybe I'll touch it a little bit more. And uh, this is a digital one, so basically it jacks in through USB into your computer. Oh. Wicked. And then you've got these uh, probes oh. here. And the probes came with it. Oh. That's fantastic. Isn't so, it better than the one that you have? Oh yeah, this is uh, much more advanced than the one that I have. So. Oh, um, this is going to be much faster for working on digital circuits and whatnot, things that run at higher frequencies. Now, is this for whiskey? And or it's is this got two me? channels, so. Oh my gosh, I'm still touching. You can it. monitor two things at the same time, and it's got that triggering in it as well. Excellent. So you can have it listen when it when that clock hits. So awesome stuff. Oh, That's brilliant. Thanks. That is going to get a lot of use. Yeah. Husker's been on a oscilloscope kick. Well, I'm starting to do things that require it. So here's another uh, basic stamp homework board. And this got the basic stamp too, obviously. Um, Roy sent us one of these as well. Cool. So, you know, I'm gonna awesome. really going to have to get Addy into the whole basic stamp thing now that we've got a lot of those around. Well, it's I quite a bit more approachable than the propeller stuff that I do. I have to get past programming a hello world. So here's a uh, servo, another one. I don't believe this is a parallax one, but yeah, it is parallax part number on it. So uh, yeah, pretty standard stuff. Hey, These servos are this so This one's great. mine. Yeah, you're claiming this one's something. Yes. Even before you open it, because I don't know what it is, but I'm claiming it. I can see. This is a go. huge keyboard. So I think this is the one that they intend for using on like the uh with Ooh. the demo board and the hydra and that kind of thing. Oh my gosh. And it's got yeah. the same look, 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 look. It was meant for me. PS2. It was meant for me. So yeah, nice uh flat keyboard. Might build that into our propeller ham rig, huh? Yes, and since I'm the ham radio person... Today we're talking the, about uh, building a uh, propeller-based um, modem for doing digital modes over ham in case of zombie apocalypse. Correct. Mobile rigs With that... With built-in uh, uh, text communication between nodes. You know what? We should get those, like, um, hippie-style vans, you know? The Volvos or whatever? The Volkswagens? Yeah. And we should, like... Like deck it out with parallax stuff. So here's the uh, the whole <laughs> crazy crazy box. Happy birthday! <laughs> from Parallax and from Chris Savage. Oh, thanks, Chris. Um, if you're not familiar, <laughs> check out Chris's website, SavageCircuits.com. Yep, we are on there all the time. We chat in the IRC every single day. There's the coolest people in the world in there. Absolutely. People like, that like know how to do tank. stuff that nobody else knows how to do. Yeah, think tank of awesome. So, um, we're at <laughs> four, 18 minutes? 18 minutes. This is going to be the worst video to have to <laughs> render that we've ever done. We might just have to do it in two parts. Alright, so big thanks to Chris and Parallax. This stuff is going to get used and it's going to get used in videos. And uh, we're going to come up with a lot of cool projects to entertain you guys. P for Parallax. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. I want to play with my new toys. Okay. Bye. Bye. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe. And follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.